there's anybody on there who wants anybody from the team who wants to just check and make sure but I think it should be good I think we're good um I'm just gonna um say again that once you get on if you can mute yourself that way um we don't have any background noise um I'm gonna also now hey Sharon hi Sherry <laughs> okay and I'm gonna share There, how's that? Can everybody see? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm going to look at Karen. We're good? Okay, you can see the PowerPoint and everything. Okay, good. <laughs> I can only see a few people. All right, so I just wanna, um, Thank you all for taking the time to join. I wanna welcome you to the Granola Babes uh, Power of Thieves class. I'm so excited about this class because it's um, just a really great time as we head into spring, as we head into just this very weird season. Uh, right now, it's just really good to know all we can about thieves. Um, we're so excited to have you all here. My name is Terry McCollum and I'm a part of the uh, Granola Babes uh, team. And you're going to meet the rest of the team tonight because they're all going to be sharing their part of, you know, how much they love and how much they know about thieves and just share with everybody all the good things that we can do with thieves. You're going to have a, um, have a history lesson, a science lesson, all that stuff. <laughs> um, so I am so grateful for technology because that allows us to come together. It allows us to connect and learn and um, just interact with other humans besides those in your immediate family or those in your household right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We hope that you enjoy this topic tonight. We believe that you will come away from this class with a completely different perspective of um, how to clean your home and why it's critical to kick the poison, kick the poison out of your home, right? This class centers around Young Living, uh, the Young Living Thieves line. And I just want to share with you a video about what Thieves is all about. So, see if I can do this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Here we go. <laughs> just screw this up again. <laughs> Hi, this is Colleen. I'm just joining. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday, quadruplets, they're nine years old, and... Oops, sorry peeps, hold on. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday, quadruplets, they're nine years old, and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. So having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up, to clean up, some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. 
they've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. Not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without thieves. Yay! Okay, so if, if you are just coming on, if you could just mute yourself, because we can see, we can hear, <laughs> we can hear background noise. So, okay, so that's what Thieves is all about in a nutshell, but we're excited to be able to dig in and share our stories. And I just wanted to share uh, really quick my story um, of how I got started started. A lot of you who have been, who know me or whatever, you know that I was introduced to Thieves 10 years ago. It was probably over 10 years ago now. Um, I was introduced to Thieves by my daughter's preschool teacher. And she told me that I needed this cleaner because it was safer and not loaded with toxic chemicals. And the cool thing is they were using it in the preschool. They were using it to clean the tables and the chairs and the and, um, all the surfaces, the toys and everything. And they didn't have to worry about the kiddos, those little kids coming into contact with um, this cleaner because it was safe. It's plant-based. It does a really great job of cleaning and it smells awesome. Um, so she told me, the preschool teacher, my daughter's preschool teacher, she said, this is going to replace every single cleaner in your home and it's gonna make your house smell like Christmas. And I tried it, of course, I fell in love and I have not looked back. I have not, I have not used anything else um, other than thieves. So um, I cannot wait to be able to share um, more about it with you. And the team is very excited to be able to share with you. So, all right. And then if you could, the, um, our team leaders who are speaking and teaching us tonight, if they could just um, remember to unmute themselves and also um, just tell us your name so everybody knows who you are. Jamie. I believe you're up, girly. Are you are you up? <laughs> Hello. I'm up. I'm up. I have a lot of numbers to throw at you, so please be uh, patient with me. <laughs> I can't memorize all of these numbers, but they are very important. <laughs> um, my name is Jamie. <laughs> I'm from New York, um, and I've been with um, Young Living and Using Oils for the last four years, I think. Um, so we've been loving it use them every day. <laughs> um, so I'll get on. Um, so according to cancer.org site, um, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year or 1,670 1, deaths a day. One in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60. Cancer is the second most common cause of death, exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society says only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. That means 90 to 95% are under your control, caused by excess weight, tobacco, and exposure to toxic chem chemicals. It's what we are allowing in our own homes. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic toxic ingredients. 314 cause biological mutations, 218 cause reproductive problems, 146 they knew cause cancerous tumors, but were allowed in the United States, even though they were banned in other countries around the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
To protect your family, begin with making changes in your home and start with the biggest offenders first. <clears throat> start with laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plug-ins. Toss the candles and plug-ins. The candles, uh, a candle is filled with dangerous petrochemicals. Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in en environmental toxicology, says burning a candle in your home for two hours is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. 40% of candles are made with wicks containing lead, which is not safe to breathe in. By making a swap from candles to a diffuser with lemon oil, you are supporting your immune system instead of harming it. No one else will be the gatekeeper of your home, save you. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, gotta take a little bit. 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body, 80 before breakfast. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals are in your that are in your home are in air fresheners like plug-ins and candles and chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, drains, and ovens. Furniture polish, dishwasher soaps, and dish soaps are also culprits. What do you think the number one poison in our family home is? Laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. You are being poisoned three ways. As you are washing your clothes, it's filling your home with chemicals. Then you wear your clothes all day long and have the topical exposure to your skin. And then clothes out gassed all night long in your closet as you sleep and you breathe the chemicals in. If you make that one swap to Thieves Laundry Soap, I'll feel that we did a great thing with this class. Other dangers in your home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant. Deodorant with aluminum is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. The information about the most dangerous chemicals in home come from the government study called U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. What happens when your body is chemically overloaded? Most of us <clears throat> feel it is lethargy, impossible to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, and fear. If you face any of these issues as I did, it's time to get the chemicals to the curb. You can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. You can cross some of the things off your list by going as close to the toxic chemical free as you can in your own home. My journey started with, with Young Living. I am not telling you Young Living will change your health, but I am telling you if, if one of your triggers is chemicals, possibly in something you're slathering on your skin, breathing in and, or consuming, it's time to get some of those things out of your house. My favorite, my favorite place to start is with the Seed to Steel Promise on all of our 600 products at Young Living. Hi, my name is Elena Kuhn and I am also from New York and I've been with Young Living for almost six years now. And the big thing with Young Living is the seed to seal promise. So what is seed to seal? It is the standard of purity for Young Living. That means no chemical overload. You can trust the name. Young Living is an essential oils company based out of Utah. The one thing that sets Young Living apart from all other oils companies is our seed to seal promise. Let me break down what seed to seal actually means. At Young Living, we do not strip the chemical constituents to make our oils smell better. We do not mix a species of the same oil and we do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use any genetically modified seeds. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for that same plant. The industry standard is $60 an acre because spraying pesticides is much cheaper than hand weeding. 
We do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. We know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils. The oldest and largest globally, compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six continents. Gary Young grew Heliochrysum essential oil at St. Mary's, St. Marie's in Idaho, then in Mona, Utah, and then the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't always grow it where it grows natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for the body. Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them yourself, any of our farms, because we are transparent. We test eight times at the farm and then again at Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after they're bottled. We do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oils meet our standards. Then we do third party testing with two accredited, respected independent labs. Young Living's oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand trained by the founder, Gary Young himself. Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means those that use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. Young Living is about integrity, hard work, and high standards. That is seed to seal. And that is why Young Living is different. We are more than 25 years old, which is really unique for a global essential oil company. Check out this one minute video to see the heart of Young Living and visit the farms from your seat. It is really unique. Let's go right to the farms and you can experience them from your seat right now. This is Young Living. Hi, uh, I'm Karen Powell. I am originally from upstate New York, but have been in North Carolina for a long time, over 20 years. So I guess I'm from North Carolina at this point. <laughs> I've been using oils for um, at least three years um, after that's being reintroduced from when the company first started. Um, 
But so we're going to move on to what are essential oils. Um, they are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is attacked or injured. Uh, we can use the oils in our home to replace harsh chemicals. Um, why would you want oils in your home? Oils have no yuck. So all that stuff that Jamie was telling us about, oils do not have that. They are just the distilled or cold pressed plant. There are millions of uses such as supporting systems in the human body, like your cardiovascular system or your endocrine system, which affects hormones, supporting your joints, your brain or liver. They are used to replace cleaning supplies. Thieves cleaner is all I use to wipe down my bathrooms, my stove, my kitchen. I even mop my floors with a handy little machine with thieves in it. <laughs> it's made of all plants and essential oils. They can use, you can use oils to replace your personal care products. Uh, Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, and face washes that are completely chemical free. If you use oil infused supplements, you get the benefit of the supplement along with the power of the oil. Um, it matters where the oils are sourced. So there are four different types of oils on earth. Um, there's grade A, which is the authentic, grade B, which is manipulated, grade C, which is perfume, and grade D, which is synthetic. It's so important that you use only grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. It's like eating an entire apple tree sprayed with pesticide instead of one apple. It makes no sense to go the extra mile to get away from toxic chemicals and then use an oil laden with, with toxin chemicals. So let's take a look at a powerful video that shows the effects of spraying crops. This study was done out of Sweden and is based on food. Essential oils are much more concentrated. When it takes 60,000 rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil, the concentration of the pesticides sprayed on those plants is much higher. Look at what one month of clean eating and getting rid of chemicals can do to the level of chemical exposure in the human body. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. Vi hittade framförallt insektsmedel, svampmedel och två förkortningsmedel. Vi äter insektsmedel. Ja, oh, äckligt. Ja. Oh. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken and now almost all the pesticides have disappeared. Vi vet ju väldigt lite om långtidseffekter av att äta mat som har besprutats. Eh, speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. So if you save 30 cents when you buy grapes at the grocery store by going for the sprayed grapes instead of the organic ones, I've probably just rocked your world because it matters what you buy. This is why seed to seal is so important. It's not always about getting the cheapest version of a product that you can possibly get. It's about the quality of what you're bringing into your home. So now that you understand purity, let's switch gears and talk about all things thieves. We're going to do a little history class, a little math class, and a little science class, math being my favorite, and then send uh, you home with some thieves cleaner. Well, maybe we'll get you some in the mail <laughs> and um, so you can wipe down your kitchen and fall in love. So what is thieves? 
I still have that part right. Yeah, Thieves Essential Oil is a blend of five powerful young living oils. It's spicy, hot, uplifting, and energizing. And it is one of the most famous oils in all of Young Living. And one of the oils that put this company on the map in the early 1990s. Thieves Oil is in the Thieves Household Cleaner. To kick this section off of the class, let's take a look at a one minute powerful video of what Thieves Cleaner can do. The pan in this video had been through 11 dishwasher loads and a, and a handful of scrubbing with steel wool pad, yet it could not stand up to Steve. Show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple, it's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grab some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. And we're not gonna use all of this thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And yep, just like a little sprinkle. We'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. Make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cook, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. She wants a nice, good paste. Oh. Now we're gonna take it over to the sink. Let's do a good rinse on it. Dun, 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 following the pan. Let's see, after multiple dishwasher loads and soaking all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. How are you in? Five, four, three, two, bam. See you cleaner to the rescue. I've, we're just Hi everybody, I'm Jesse Anderson. I've been using Young Living oils and all things for about five years and I love to talk about all of it. So, so we're gonna start talking about what is Thieves, but we're gonna start by letting the oil speak for itself. I think that was the video already. There <laughs> okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the power of thieves. So, and how amazing it is at cleaning. So it's just as powerful to clean with plants over any harmful chemicals. So we're going to take a look at the before and after photo of the power of cleaning with thieves. So this is a sink that was cleaned with diluted thieves cleaner, which is just a cap full of the cleaner in a spray bottle of water. The sink was cleaned with a sponge and a few sprays of the thieves cleaner in under two minutes. The cleaner even got rid of the lime that was all built up under the knobs without any hard scrubbing. So this one is hard water stains that was in a sink scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner again in the spray bottle. The cleanup only took a few minutes and again there were no harsh chemicals. So here, the first photo shows the hard water stains in a tub that couldn't be removed with a half dozen chemical cleaners. Um, and the second photo shows the thieves cleaner to the rescue again. Um, in this instance, the owner made a paste with the cleaner and baking soda and let it sit on the tub walls for about 15 minutes and it came right off. And then the third photo shows coffee grounds that were burnt to the bottom of a stainless steel pan and they were removed with undiluted Thieves cleaner and now the pan looks brand new. So this is a whole new way to clean. It's gonna revolutionize how you clean your home. It's been a complete game changer for me. And I love talking about Thieves cleaner because I've been on a budget most of my life and it saved me so much more money than what I used to spend on cleaning products because I had all of them for every single room in my house but I didn't really know any better. Um, so I recommend that you start 
with the Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit, which is $165. It's where I started my journey and it's where I suggest you start because once I learned about everything that was in my home, what I was breathing in, what I was putting on my skin, um, that's where I knew it's where I needed to start. And it's a really easy and important place to start. Um, the starter kits are the only thing on the Young Living website that are half off. And when you order one, you get 24% discount for life forever. So any oil you get from that point on or any thieves cleaning product, anything you get is 24% off. There's no yearly membership. There's no fees. There's no hidden catches. You just get your kit and you have a lifetime discount. So the kit comes with everything that you see in the picture. It has a 15 milliliter bottle of the Thieves Essential Oil. It has the Aroma Bright toothpaste, Thieves mouthwash, two bottles of Thieves cleaner, which last forever in and of themselves, two Thieves foaming hand soaps, two Thieves hand sanitizers, which are very popular right now for some reason, a five milliliter bottle of Stress Away Essential Oil, two Thieves sprays, one roller glide fitment, and then two packets of the Ninja juice, which is the top whole food um, supplement. So that means you get the Thieves oil, the toothpaste, the mouthwash, the cleaner, which the cleaner alone has replaced all the cleaners in my house and hand soap spray. And the spray you can use for shopping carts, airplane seats, you can spray your kids' hands down uh, before they eat, soaps and hand sanitizer all in one kit. So if you're already a Young Living member, I don't know, but did you know that there's an entire discounted bundle of Thieves on Essential Rewards? So you get the blessing of Thieves with your 24% wholesale discount already, and then 10 to 25% off the ER discount, and then an additional discount because it's an ER bundle. So it's the most affordable way to keep Thieves in every room of the house and with you on the road when we're allowed to go back on the road again. Uh, this bundle is worth over $205, but it's only 118. So it's a really awesome deal if you're already on Essential Rewards to keep it going in your house. Um, so Essential Rewards, what is that? If you're not a member, um, it's, the, it's the way that you save on most everything, especially thieves. But if it's an affordability issue, just consider this. When you get the Thieves Starter Kit, you get 24% off of oils for life. It's a wholesale membership. So when you think of essential rewards, think of it like all those subscription boxes that are really popular now that come every single month. But the difference with this is that you get to pick what comes in the box and you have control over the shipping date. So when you sign up for essential rewards, you get 10% off right off the bat. And then for the first three months, Young Living gives you 10% back for buying your laundry soap, your dish soap, all the things you get in the grocery store no chemicals. After four months, you get 20% back. And then after 25 months, you get 25% back just for buying your cleaning supplies, all your household essentials on essential rewards. So there's no grocery store I know that does that. The most I've seen is the 5% discount, like they have at Target and some of the other places. Um, but if you get on essential rewards before you get your kit, before you close out the sale of it, then that kit counts towards free oils and points. So that's why I recommend getting on Essential Rewards right away at sign up. You can cancel it at any time. There's no fee. Um, you just get a house full of your toxin-free cleaning supplies and you're healthier yourself, for your kids, for your pets, everybody. Okay, so is that me again? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> okay. So what is Thieves Cleaner used for? Well, there are so many stinking uses, uses for it, but we could be here all night and probably all weekend talking about everything that we can do with a Thieves House Soap Cleaner. But I'm just going to share with you 12 and, um, and that will give you a good place to start. So the first thing we can do is we can put Thieves Household Cleaner undiluted into a roll-on. And so you can actually find those on Amazon. Um, you can find the roll-ons. You could do like your roller bottles. If you are already an oiler and you have those 10 milliliter S roller bottles, you can use those. 
as a stain stick for your clothing, but without the chemicals. You can also pour Thieves Household Cleaner onto spots on your carpet um, to clean up pet stains or anything like that um, to get rid of any types of, you know, maybe your kids spilled something on the carpet and you can use Thieves Household Cleaner undiluted directly right on there and that will help get it up. You can also, as we have seen from the previous demonstration that it, we can let it sit on pots and pans with burnt food stuck to the bottom, does a really great job of getting that up. Um, we can put a cap full into a spray bottle with two to three cups of water and then use it on all our surfaces, um, in our kitchen, in our bathroom, in our sinks, our uh, bathtubs, our showers, stove, refrigerator, all that good stuff. Um, you can also add some, add some Thieves Household Cleaner to a hot water, to hot water, and then you can mop your floors with it. You can wipe down your walls, um, have your kids do the baseboards. Um, <laughs> um, you can put a little Thieves Household Cleaner and some baking soda and make a scrubbing paste and use it to clean out your stove. You can clean off the stove top um, inside the oven. And um, you can also use it on your stainless steel. It works like an, uh, works like magic. Um, okay, so you can also refresh a mess a musty carpet by mixing some thieves oil in, into some baking soda, and then you just kind of let that absorb. And then you can sprinkle that mixture, that powder, over your carpets and rugs and pet beds and all that. And then you can always, you know, leave it on there, let it absorb for a little bit, and then you can vacuum it up. And after washing your clothes with Thieves Laundry Soap, you can add four to five drops to a washcloth and toss it in the dryer to make your clothes smell amazing. My hubby says it makes our clothes smell like oatmeal cookies, <laughs> which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, you can also put a drop of Thieves on anything sticky and then wipe it off. It does it works like magic, like uh, for getting off um, stickers from like the bottom of glasses and vases and, and um, anything like that. You can also clean your dishwasher by running an empty cycle with Thieves Household Cleaner. Um, you can add a drop to um, the cardboard insert in of your toilet paper rolls. Hopefully you have toilet paper in your house right now. Um, and you can put that in there and then you can have the thieves kind of freshen uh, your bathroom. Okay, so thieves is some, is some um, of the best glass cleaner replacement I have ever seen. Um, you can spray it right on your windows to take the gunk off, to make them all clear and shiny. Um, it's also great for detailing cars and cleaning your dashboard. There is absolutely no yuck in Thieves. It's just plants and plant-based materials. And you can literally replace everything under your counter with just one bottle. Now, I know that Jesse said that that, you know, a couple bottles that come into your, your Thieves starter kit will last you months and months, unless you're Elena. Now, I know Elena is probably going to share differently at the end of this because she goes through like a bottle a month, but <laughs> that's because she uses it for so many amazing things. And that just shows the versatility of what we can do. So what about Thieves Oil? I want to make sure that I'm... Okay, so um, the, the Thieves Oil also comes in the starter kit. So why would you wanna have the Thieves Oil? This oil is a lot more concentrated than the Thieves Household Cleaner. So Thieves Oil does not contain the other plant ingredients that allow the oil to be evenly spread throughout the cleaning solution. So if you try to make the Thieves Household Cleaner out of Thieves Oil, you're gonna just end up with oil and water. All right, so we're going to talk about five uses for the Thieves essential oil. So you could put some on the bottom of your feet and your spine for immune support. Um, if you're putting it on the, your kids, though, you're going to want to dilute it either with coconut oil or olive oil or Young Living's V6 carrier oil. Any oil or carrier oil that you have is going to work. You can also take Thieves Vitality oil internally for the same reason. Um, if you're a note taker, you're going to want to write this down. It's a really good little recipe. So you can take 10 drops of Thieves Vitality, eight drops of Oregano Vitality, and then two drops of Frankincense Vitality, 
in a veggie capsule, which you can get anywhere, Amazon, Sprouts, wherever. Um, but that's really great for sinus support, which is awesome for this time of year because that's all that everybody's talking about. Um, and you can take it as much as you need throughout the day. So that's a good internal recipe. You can also add a drop of the Thieves Vitality to your toothpaste on your toothbrush, just for more of like a fresh feeling. You can put it in the diffuser. A lot of people like it for a fall blend because it has cinnamon and clove in it. Clove also has a numbing effect. So you can put it right on your teeth and gums for kind of a soothing effect. Okay, so now it's time for a little bit of history. So we're gonna talk for a second about Thieves and what's in it, where it came from. So the Thieves blend contains clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. It's based on the legend of the four thieves in Marseille, France, uh, dating from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. Um, so century after century, from the 1300s to the 1700s, outbreaks claimed up to half of the population of Europe. There was a nasty breakout between 1593 and 1608. So around that time, there was an aromatic legend that was developed around a brew called the Marseille vinegar or Four Thieves vinegar. As history has it, the group allegedly confessed that they used it with protection against the plague while they were robbing the dead bodies. There's a variety of recipes out there, but they all included rosemary tops, dried sage flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which were to steep for seven or eight days. The vinegar was noted in a number of famous medical books published later on, including Pharmacologia from 1825. So this page is a snippet from that original book from almost 200 years ago. And as the legend goes, these thieves covered themselves in the herbs and the essential oils mixture before robbing the dead bodies. Um, they were a mix of spicers, perfumers, and embalmers, and they had carried the recipe throughout their family for generations. But the magistrate finally caught up with them and was going to behead them, but offered them amnesty if they explained how to use the thieves mix. So then comes D. Gary Young, who's the founder of Young Living and is the most responsible for the story reaching legendary status of today. But he created the blend, the Thieves Blend in 1994 for immune support as the result of his study at Warwick University in London. So Gary said, quote, I must tell you that I have read 17 di different versions of the Thieves story. Some claim that there were four thieves and some claim that there were as many as 40. Most of the legends took place in the 15th century, but some put the date in the 18th century. The formulas varied from one story to the next, but through my research, I was led to four key botanicals that were mentioned again and again, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon, four of the same ingredients that make up the thieves oil blend today. So in the spirit of all the homeschooling going on, we're gonna keep going. We started with history, now we're gonna go through a little science. So. We're gonna bring in our top science guru to explain how to use Thieves products effectively. Here's the latest from Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, about ways to mitigate the spread of pathogens directly from the mouth of Young Living's Chief Science Officer, Dr. Mike Book. Many have asked how Young Living hand sanitizer is different if it also contains alcohol. Not all alcohol is made the same way. Ours is denatured using peppermint oil, which makes all the difference. You get the power of the alcohol with the ingredients that you want to see in sanitizer. So let's listen to Mike talk about how to effectively use Thieves hand sanitizer, soap, and spray. Hi, everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about the transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC or the Center for Disease Control's website, and they have some really good recommendations on how you can mitigate transmitting uh, diseases. One of the main things they recommend is hand washing, believe it or not. They recommend using a good soap. I just happen to have one here. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this underwater, and that's actually wrong because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands, when the important part of our hands to clean are the surfaces that touch things. So it's the fingertips and the thumb. So we should really be doing this underwater. And the CDC says to use a good soap under running water for at least 20 seconds. And really scrub your fingertips and then scrub under your nails. 
and then rinse thoroughly because that's how we transmit disease. We tend to touch things in faces and particularly touching your eyes is a great way to get an infection quickly. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap and water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%, like our thieves hand sanitizer. And again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer to thoroughly wet your hands and then rubbing your hands and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry to let that alcohol have a good effect. And finally, also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. And they recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol, like our thieves spray. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. So I hope you all practice these tips and we can really avoid transmission of pathogens. The people also ask if thieves can really be used as a strong enough surface cleaner. Well, we're gonna put it to the test. These swab tests are the same types of tests that are used in the food industry to test for unclean counters near food prep areas. So we're gonna take a closer look. This is Young Living leader, Rachel Cipriano. She made up a spray bottle of thieves cleaner, which again is one cap of the cleaner to a spray bottle of water. And then she rubbed some raw chicken on her counter to see if thieves could get it clean. This nasty chicken on my counter. Yep, you really get in slimy. And then I'm going to do the first test just to um, see that it's dirty. So I have to swab the surface, and then when I put it into the little solution, it will turn a color. Green means clean, and then the darker purple it gets, the dirtier it is. So I snap it into the solution. And then, oh, it didn't go. There we go. We're gonna shake it for five seconds. And you can see it's a dark purple. So it's contaminated, it's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. I'm gonna put white. So the chicken juice up and spray it down with our thieves. Let it sit for just a second. So this is what we use everywhere in our house, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. It's all we use, it's everything. And I've always trusted that it works, but I know a lot of people kind of wanted proof kind of hard to believe that cleaning of plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you find in the grocery store. Okay, so we've wiped it down with Steve's cleaner. Now we have the second test swab. Oh wait, you're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So I'm um, just that's the dry surface now. I'm just letting it with water. And now I can swap it. Okay, and again, just stepping it into the solution. And a quick shake. And you can see it's green. Mm. So the green means clean, and you can see that was the purple when it was contaminated, and then the green after the thieves. So what about a thieves cleaner that comes either in your starter or your ER kit? Are the ingredients inside safe? Let's take a closer look. If you can see, there's only 10 ingredients in that bottle. So if you go grab the cleaner onto your cabinet, I want you to look at the same label. If there's anything that you don't know or recognize, type it in Google and just put the words dangers of and then whatever the ingredient is. And just start taking a look at what you're breathing in, what you're putting on your skin, what's airing out in your house. Um, but just know your home and just remember that we're the gatekeepers and we have full control over what we allow in our homes that we're exposed to our kids, our families. So it doesn't matter um, how clean it is if you can't afford to use it. Uh, but Thieves is absolutely affordable. 
So we're going to break it down. Yes, you've had the history, you've had the science, and now it's time for a quick math lesson. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so you're like, has already been said, you're getting a full day of school. And since we're all about homeschooling these days, here you go. Um, so when you calculate the cost of products at the grocery store um, versus the Thieves Household Cleaner, it's really a no brainer. So it's significantly cleaner than green cleaners and even cheaper than chemical cleaners. Um, one of the top organic brands is 27 cents per ounce that you can buy in the store. The Thieves Cleaner comes in for the win at five cents an ounce. With one bottle, which you get two in your premium starter kit, but one of those bottles will make 25 diluted spray bottles. So each bottle lasts oh, about a week, week and a half. Um, you can spray, you can get 25 spray bottles for $22. Simply add one capful of the concentrated Thieves Cleaner to a spray bottle of water and you're off and running. It's the cheapest green cleaner out there and it works. Um, this one simple swap will revolutionize how you clean and toss um, most of the harsh chemicals underneath your sink and you have so much more room to put so many other things. <laughs> um, Young Living doesn't just have the Thieves starter kit, it has the entire line of Thieves products. There's bar soap, there's cough drops, there's dental floss, there's dish soap, dishwasher powder, mints, fruit and veggie wash, and even Thieves wipes. It's simple, requires no prep and is easy to swap. So um, we can take a look at the veggie wash. Um, Thieves is really good for preserving fruits and vegetables. It's always been um, blown away by the um, Thieves fruit and veggie wash because of the grime that comes off the produce. Um, right when I bring it home from the grocery store, I clean everything at once. It goes in the refrigerator and is ready for the boys to just get out and eat. Um, but this picture is the story of two pumpkins. One pumpkin was sprayed with the thieves. Um, the other was not. One is happy. One is not. <laughs> As I'm putting my groceries away, I pull the fruit and veggies out and pop them in a large bowl of water and a capful of the fruit and veggie wash. And it helps get all that gunk and dirt off of my produce before it's put in the fridge. Um, soak it for about five minutes. And while you're putting everything else away, they're ready to go. If you are overloaded by the concept of oiling, Thieves is a brilliant place to start. Oils are the gateway to natural health. They are like fast food natural health, apply and carry on. <clears throat> there is no tincturing, no fermenting, no growing weird things in jars on your counter. All the hard work is done at the Young Living distilleries and out in the fields. Then it goes from Young Living Farms to your home in a single order. You can knock out most of the toxic chemicals in your home with Thieves Cleaner alone. It's not going to break the bank. It's a simple, easy gateway into the world of oiling. You're protecting your family from more than a dozen different cleaning solutions with a single bottle of Thieves Cleaner. Thieves Laundry Soap, another very simple swap. Okay, if you don't have a starter kit yet, I would recommend the $160 Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit um, that we discussed earlier. I would add the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle to clear out nearly all of your cabinets in one fell swoop. It comes with everything we discussed earlier. And as you do a revamp of your cleaning supplies cabinet and bit of your bathroom, let's take a closer look at what comes in the starter kit. So there's the Thieves Cleaner. It's not one bottle, but two. Here's a quick little hack. I love to get a roll on like Terry already suggested um, and put undiluted Thieves Cleaner in it and use it as a stain stick. I leave it right in my boat above my washer and dryer. So um, when something has a stain, I soak it before I um, wash it. You can take it with you and spot treat your stuff. Um, so when you get home, it's already been treated and you can just throw it um, in the laundry with your Thieves Laundry Soap. Then you have Thieves Hand Soap. Um, there's one for the kitchen and one for your bathroom in your Thieves starter kit. And one of the things I love about this soap is that it's foaming, which means it goes a long way. And if you have more than one person in your home washing your hands, that matters. Um, we also have a hack in our house that I dilute that Thieves um, hand soap. I get about two or three bottles out of one. Um, so you get even more bang for your buck. And the Thieves hand sanitizer, another great item in the kit. One of the favorite things that I put in the car, in my purse, um, always have it on hand. 
Uh, you never know if there's going to be a little spill at the gas station or you run through the drive through and you forget a napkin or you just want your hands to feel clean. Um, this is great for kids backpacks and um, like I said, every vehicle. Um, Thieves hand sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. Just as Mike said in the video, if you're not near a water source to wash your hands, the CDC recommends um, a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Thieves hand sanitizer fits the bill. It doesn't come with harsh, in harsh ingredients, so you know you're picking the best for your family. Okay, and then another item in the kit is the Thieves toothpaste. Your personal tooth care regimen is brushing your teeth with Thieves toothpaste, flossing with Thieves floss, and then a 60 second swish with the Thieves mouthwash and your mouth will feel so clean. And then there's the mouthwash. Um, also in your kit, this stuff is intense um, because it has both cinnamon vitality oil and clove vitality oil in it. Um, it is great for sensitive teeth. Um, this mouthwash is free of alcohol, synthetic dyes and all that artificial flavors, making it a safe choice even for kids and teens. And sometimes it is a, it, with the clove and the cinnamon, you can dilute it with some distilled water um, and it's a little bit easier for the kids to use. And you have Thieves Spray. I'm always stunned at the places that you can find to spray. Um, you can spray shopping cart handles in the store. You can keep it in your bag and spray door handles and bathroom toilet stalls and um, the handles, all sorts of places. And then you have Thieves Mint. And the easiest way to sum this up is stinky breath. <laughs> And then you have Thieves Oil, the actual essential oil. Get some of this on your feet at night or in a diffuser. Um, this is, especially this time of year, favorite oil to support your immune system. And then Ningxia Red, the two Ningxia Red samples that come in your kit. Um, if you had to pick one Young Living supplement, this is the one I'd pick. If I had to sum up Ningxia in one word, it would be antioxidants. What's all that about? It means it's time to get on it plugged into the next um, core classes. And we're gonna be teaching some of those in the near future. There's a 103 Ningxia class or the 101 oils class if you haven't had that, um, but those are coming along the way too. Okay. Um, yes, so then in all of that, um, there's also this little bottle of stress away. Um, open it first, take a whiff and tackle the rest of your starter kit with our 30 day thieves scavenger hunt calendar. Elena, I think you're up. <clears throat> All right, so for those of you that are ready for the next level of oiling, let's talk essential rewards um, one last time. These freebies can come with your ER order at 190, 250, and 300 PV this month. ER is the most affordable way to build your oil collection. In addition to free oils, there are bundles that are only available for Essential Reward members, and they come at a discount. This is what the Thieves Essential Rewards bundle comes with. It is great for families making the simple swap and cabinet cleaning the yuck out of their homes. And because it's on ER, it is the deeply discounted. Instead of $205, it's Thieves products for only $118. It's more than $80 off and you're swapping out just about everything in every room from hand soap, glass cleaner, floor cleaner, oven cleaner, mouthwash, toothpaste, hand sanitizers, and so much more. This is an ER bundle that I personally buy every month for our family. Like Terry said, one bottle doesn't last me forever. We use it on our farm, we're dairy farmers. Um, we actually use it even on our cows to clean them. We use it in our house, we use it on walls, floors, bathroom, kitchen, everywhere. There's always more uses. We use it with our laundry even. So 
I buy this and I throw on normally um, some lemon, peppermint, valor, and cedarwood essential oils, some deodorant, lotion, and my MindWise supplement. And then I can hit the 300 PV and I get all the oils for the month for free. And because I've been on ER for over the 24 months, I get 25% back on each one of those orders. So I'm sure there's something in this class that convicted you and hit you in the gut. I know that how you care for your family and clean your home will be very different. We want to come alongside you and train your friends and family in toxin-free living. Because you'll fall in love with thieves and want a chemical-free life for your mom and your best friends too. We're willing to come and teach to your circle and educate them for free to give you the blessing of oils and a seed to seal products for your family. Plus, you'll get a free gift for each person that you help start on their Young Living journey. So you can feel free to ask any of us about hosting a gathering in person when we're allowed to again, or through Zoom calls. Elena, did you want to talk about the promos for this month or? Um, sure. So every month, if you are on Essential Rewards, there is actually a tier for 100 PV, which is roughly your dollar amount. Um, so this month you get Valor. Valor, our family uses all the time. Um, it's liquid courage. <laughs> um, at 190, you get um, clarity if you're on essential rewards and the Valor, and you also can get Java Flex. At 250, you get a cute little travel bag that holds essential oils inside of it, the Java Flex, clarity and Valor. And then at 300 PV, you get a 15 milliliter bottle of Gentle Baby, which is not just for babies, anybody can use it. And the travel bag, Java Flex, Clarity and Valor. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. Um, so where do you start with all this? Start small, start slow. Start with your convictions. Let me give you a simple tip. <clears throat> with your food, simply, simply start by reading the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. Um, it doesn't mean you can't have ice cream. Just uh, go for the ice cream with milk, sugar, eggs, and vanilla instead of the ingredients list of 35 items you can't even pronounce. Learning to integrate oils into your home is about, <clears throat> is about small, simple baby steps. Take it one month at a time. Maybe the first month you focus solely on thieves cleaner and toss every single chem chemical cleaning supply that is under your sink. So you can wipe your kitchen down and fall in love knowing you just boosted your immune system instead of taxing your liver. The next month, swap out some laundry soap and dish soap. Month three, focus on your personal care products like deodorant and shampoo. Month four, focus on beauty supplies like a face wash. <clears throat> Every day you leave your makeup on, your skin ages by seven days. Use a toxic-free option to get it off. I started this journey myself with a Young Living Starter Kit. And you have an I have never looked back. <clears throat> we use the oils every day in our, in our home. Every oil you use is a toxic chemical you're not using. This is where I began. Oh, and this is where I began, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and it's where I recommend you to start to. All right, so we're gonna wrap this class up um, and I'm gonna show you how you can grab your Thieves Starter Kit if you don't already have one. So to grab your own Thieves Starter Kit, all you need to 
do is go to the Granola Babes website. And the Granola Babes website is just granolababes.net. And then from there, you go to the Granola Babes community and then you click become a babe. And here is you will here you will click on the picture of the babe or bro um, who invited you to this class or the one you've been talking to, somebody that you've been talking to. So you're gonna pick your kit. It allows you, there's many different kits that Young Living offers um, to help people get started, but we are specifically talking about the thieves kit tonight. But just know that if you want to get started with the oils kit, that is also available. There's many different uh, oils kits with different diffusers. There's also a basic kit. There's a Ningxia kit. There's a makeup kit. So um, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can choose that and then just follow, uh, follow the prompts from there. This just makes it really easy for you <laughs> to be able to, to get your membership and pick your, your kit. So if you have any questions about any of this, please don't hesitate to reach out to any one of us. Um, we are always here and happy to help. Uh, we would love to welcome you to the Granola Babes family. Uh, when you join our family, we will send you a welcome packet and we will be here for you to give you the support and the encouragement that you need. And the Granola Babes community is so helpful and we're encouraging and motivating uh, to each other. Um, if you are not already a Young Living member um, or a member of the Granola Babes group um, on Facebook, I just encourage you and invite you to um, join the Granola Babes Facebook group so that you can get further education and communication, some interaction. <laughs> we all could use some interaction, um, updates and some online events and classes. If you wanna stay up to date on the classes that we're gonna be offering, because we're gonna be doing more like this. So I encourage you to get a part, uh, be a part of that group. And, and it also, it's a place for people to ask questions. Um, when we started it, goodness gracious, it was probably, what, seven years ago now? I don't remember. Uh, the Granola Base Facebook group started and it was designed and it was created with the intent of just allowing us to engage and support each other. And so people were able to ask questions like, hey, this is what's going on. What did you do? And, you know, and then everybody was able to um, comment and share their recipes, share their tips and hacks. So just let it be a place of community uh, for everybody. So Young Living is the best decision that I've ever made. Um, in my chemical free journey. And I know the, you know, the rest of the team who spoke tonight, they would agree with me. I know that it will level the playing field for you as, you're, as you start to kick all the toxic ingredients out of your home. There is a consequence to everything we breathe, everything we eat and everything we put onto our skin. We may not feel it immediately, but your safety um, is worth the swap and you have to know your home and you have to protect your home you have to protect your, yourself and your family and that comes with careful label reading and like Jesse said we are the gatekeepers of our home we decide what comes through and what comes into our home you matter your family matters friends your friends matter, and it's time that we all start uh, kicking toxic chemicals out of our life and start living clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up for some questions for a little bit, um, but I first want to thank you all for joining us tonight um, and just for coming together. I'm super stinking proud of the Granola Babes leadership team. I could cry. <laughs> But I love my team and, um, and I'm just super proud of you guys. And they are not just passionate about Young Living products, but what I love and it's so admire about everybody on the leadership team is that they genuinely care for people. We meet every single week and I wish you could hear their hearts when they talk about their members, when they talk about the people in their community. It is not about the money. It is absolutely not. A, this is, yes, this is a business for us. However, 
the heart of the Granola Babes community and family and leadership team is about helping their friends and family, educating them, letting people know that, um, that what we bring into our home matters. So um, I wanna open this up for questions. If you have a question, please unmute yourself and, um, and ask away. And hopefully one of us will be able to get you an answer. And if not, that's fine too, but. <laughs> this is Karina. Hey, Karina from Arizona. How are you? Good, I miss you, girl. I miss you. Quick question. <laughs> if you are out of Thieves Oil to make hand sanitizer, can you use Thieves Cleaning Agent? Okay, so that's an interesting question. Um, to make... Hmm. To comply with CDC, technically, no, it's not a replacement. However, there are some great recipes out there and I can share some with you that are great clean cleansers. They, they do a great job of cleaning your hands. However, I cannot say or make the claim that it would replace or be compliant with the CDC's recommendations because it does not contain alcohol in it but it makes a great cleaner. And I actually use the Thieves Household Cleaner to make my hand wipes and my cleaning wipes. And you can add additional oils to that, like lemon, tea tree, purification, Thieves oil. You can add that in addition to your Thieves Household Cleaner and with your wad, distilled water, um, maybe even some witch hazel or whatever, put that all in there and mix it with uh, your bounty napkins to get the bounty napkins or paper towels nice and moist. And you can use that to clean. In fact, I have a bunch of those I made up ahead of time. I, I put a stack in a, a Ziploc baggie. I stick it in my purse. And then now when I go to the store, <laughs> I can take one out and I can wipe the handle down. I can wipe my hands. I can wipe the steering wheel. Um, any anything like that. So it makes a great cleaner, but unfortunately I cannot tell you that it will replace the uh, hand sanitizer. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. I wish I could see everybody. I can't right now. Hang on. I'm going to end this slideshow so that I can see. Oh, now I can see everybody. <laughs> well, not everybody, a lot of people. Yay. Does anybody else have a question? Oh, there's somebody, okay, go ahead. Uh, is that me? <laughs> I have a question. Amanda, go ahead. Hey. Okay, I, this is kind of thieves related, kind of, I don't know, I'll ask, but um, I use in my dishwasher, Elena, you sent me the, the recipe to replace, you know, the dish pots, like baking soda, washing soda, thieves, but it leaves, and I put add vinegar for cleansing, rinse aid, but when it leaves like, um, like a film, on the dishes which I don't care about but my husband thinks it's like they're not clean or something <laughs> what can I do to help get rid of that film is that just part of it I know they're clean I trust them I trust that they're clean <laughs> I just didn't know if there's something more I could add <coughs> or do that is a great question Elena did you want to answer or do you For us, I did find that using a little less of the mix did help, that using oh. too much mix actually made that worse, oh. um, or adjusting the amount of vinegar, or okay. just towel drying the dishes afterwards, just remove the spots. And for us, depending on how hard water is, will also make the difference. Okay, thank you. I also, I don't know, um, I, I don't know who else does this, but I do this every single time um, before I run my dishwasher. I spray every, all the dishes and all the sides of the dishwasher, inside of the dishwasher with my Thieves multi-purpose cleaner. So uh. I spray everything. And then I also fill my rinse dispenser 
with um, the white vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, you, you also can put a small bowl um, in the top rack with the vinegar, white vinegar in it too. And you can even cut a lemon in half and stick that, just a, a, lem a real lemon <laughs> on the top of your, on the, in the uh, top rack. Um, but I also really love the Thieves uh, dishwasher powder. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Not and yet. You, a bucket list. <laughs> yeah. Well, in, in that, there's a way to make that cost effective too, because it, it is kind of pricey when, if you were to buy it and just use it, you know, um, as is, but you can also double that by adding baking soda to mm. it. Um, so then you have, so I've got a jar that I have underneath my sink and you know, those little packets that you get in some of your supplements or whatever it's those, um, so that the, the, uh, so it stays dry, it absorbs, um, the moisture. So I always save those for my supplement containers and I stick that in with my dishwasher powder. I stick that in there so because I keep it underneath my sink and there's moisture there so I don't want it to clump up. So I stick one of those packets in there and that keeps it nice and dry, but you can definitely make your thieves dishwasher powder go a lot further. So it's a it's more economical, but definitely, you know, when it when it gets to that point, um reach out to me and or Elena and we'll tell you how to dilute it so that it goes further. Thank you, Amanda. That was a great question. <laughs> Hi, I got a question. Hey, Carrie. Hey, um, is a thieves bundle available for me if I'm already a uh, um, young living? So yeah, Elena, go ahead. Yeah, you can get it through. Um... Uh, any, uh, for the most part, most of the kits are available even to members. You can buy another kit. So yeah, just go to where the kits are and it's under um, specialty kits, I believe. And you'll find the thieves kit there. But yes, even you can carry. Okay, thanks. All right. Anybody else have any questions, comments? <laughs> it is so good to see everybody's face. I love this. Was this helpful? And did you like the format and how it was done? Okay. Yes. Yay, good, good. All right, well, stay tuned for, we're probably gonna be doing a Ningxia Red class next. Um, and we're super excited about that because we all love Ningxia and we just feel like people, we probably don't talk about it enough. Um, so we'll let you know um, when we're gonna be doing that. But I just am so grateful that you took the time to come on and um, interact and learn with us. So thank you all so much and hopefully you walk away with a new, <laughs> new appreciation or, you know, new things that you've learned. So that's what this is all about. So thank you all so much. And if you have any other questions after we get off, feel free to reach out to any one of us. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I'm just going to ask the leaders to stay on for just a second. Bye. Love you guys.